Hey guys, it's Ginger here, and I wanted to do a quiet and relaxing YouTube video about how to pick the right chords for the emotion that you want to invoke. So hop in something comfy, grab a nice hot beverage, and let's start chatting as we gaze at the sunset. So to jump in, this is going to be light music theory. And this video is going to be very short and simple. We're going to work in the key of C, which means that C is the root note in the root chord. This is the one that's going to feel like home. Now, when we're writing our chords, it's a great idea to end your chord progression on either the fifth, which wants to go back to the root note, or the fourth, which also wants to go back to the root note. Now the fifth in the key of C is a G. It feels nice, doesn't it? And the fourth in the key of C is an F. So you can end your chord progressions on those um, chords and it will make your listener want to go Keep listening and go back to the one. You can even end the pre-chorus on that and then come into your chorus with, which feels nice. <clears throat> so if you're wanting to make something feel sad, then you go to the sixth or the third, which are the minor chords in a major scale. So the sixth is going to be A minor. And I always like to use these for bridges. The one, which is a C. The six, which is an A minor. The one, which is a C. If you go to the third, E minor. Go back to the sixth. Go back to the third. The fourth. The first. Now, if you didn't go to the fourth, it would sound like this. Which just doesn't feel as gratifying. So again, ending on the fourth, go to the one. Ending on the fifth, Ending on the one. This video is about chord creation, the foundation of your song. Once you've created your chords, the next thing you need to do is create your melody on top of your chords. I have my 12 methods for melody mastery. The link is down below. Click on it, check it out. It's the 12 methods I use. I've used them to write over 500 songs. I use them as a full-time songwriter, so I'm using them every day. They obviously work because I use them and I'm writing lots of songs and I don't ever get stuck so I wanted to share them with you the link is below click it check it out thanks for watching you guys I hope this video helped somebody when I learned this I felt like I was living in the dark for the previous I think it was seven years before I even understood this so I felt like I had was given a breath of fresh air and a whole new way to create songs it helped me invoke a certain emotion through the chords and it helped me not feel so in the dark and not feel so lost with trying to write chord progressions. Again, thanks for watching. Click the thumbs up button if you got anything out of this video. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys, happy writing.